Hi, and welcome back to Mustang Movies with Matt, Christy, and for this week, Samantha Irvin from the Daily Campus. And to close off today, Christy is going to have a review for us of The Women. So take it away. The Women. I can't remember having a more awesome experience at the movies than I did while watching The Women. And I'm being serious, I'm sorry. But the movie is a remake of the, by all accounts, biting 1939 classic. Brilliantly, it employs absolutely no males in front of the camera. I want to keep going until I get a boy. Don't we have enough of those? This 2008 version is admittedly nothing more than a pleasant piece of fluff and not an important piece of film. But, ah, oh, what great fun this piece of chick flick fluff is. The movie's cast is a who's who of older Hollywood, you know, before Lindsay Lohan. Meg Ryan stars as a fashion designer, trying to juggle her responsibilities as a mother, a wife, and a member of high society. And then she gets a rude awakening. Oh, is this about the perfume, bitch? Oh! <gasps> you knew and you didn't tell me? Now, honest to God, Mary, I'm so hurt. You? This isn't happening Mary, to you. This, this is happening to me. Her circle of friends includes Annette Benning as a Brito magazine editor, Jada Pinkett Smith as a sassy lesbian. Wow. She is fine. She's Alex, not now. And Deborah Messing as an endearingly mousy and eternally pregnant woman. I'm so sorry that I won't be able to stay longer, but my water just broke. Eva Mendez appears in too few scenes as the other woman, and there's an endless list of famous cameos. The script pops in the hands of these tried and true professionals. I cooked us a romantic dinner tonight. The big white square thing with the fire coming out of it is the stove. The actors obviously relish playing their roles. I don't agree with all the movie's messages, but when a movie is this much fun, all I can do is grin and grin and grin. And now you guys are going to take away my critic card. <laughs> <laughs> you and the rest of the world, because well, I've read the other reviews. I know what they're saying. Well, well, it's the movie has been in development for over 10 what's, years. Over 10 years, yeah. what seems like an eternity. And when a movie takes that long to get to the screen, you have to wonder, What's wrong? Is, is there something with the script? Are they trying to get more famous faces in the film? It makes you wonder. Yeah, well, and I'll actually applaud you for having a different opinion than most <laughs> of the other critics out there because that's what makes it interesting because this isn't just, let's all jump on the bandwagon of somebody who says one thing or another. But I mean, obviously I haven't seen the film, so I can't make a grand And you probably judgment. won't see the film, will you, Matt? Well, it, it's not necessarily my cup of tea, but... I might still be interested in it, and we've had this discussion before that I actually do enjoy quite a few chick flicks. And Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I just said that on camera. It's true. I do enjoy some chick flicks. So I might go see it eventually, but I think what's really important here is that what I've heard for the most part is that this the movie is overly ridiculous and that it's, it's relatively needless, but that doesn't mean it can't be entertaining, an entertaining piece that's of fluff, point. as you said. And... That's, per that's perfectly fine. I mean, I'll go see it, and if I'll entertain, I'll actually thank you for being different than him. If not, I'll, I won't take away your movie critic card, but I'll just say the other 94% of critics that I've seen that have hated the movie were right. Aww. So. And Samantha? Well, um, it, seems, it seems like a Sex in the City repeat. You know, we already had Sex in the City movie this summer, and this seems like kind of a rehash of that girl power kind of feeling, so... I think if people enjoy the Sex and the City movie, they're probably going to enjoy this too. And I might see it. it I, I like going to see movies with my mom because it means she pays. So this would be... That's what you should do. You should treat, yeah, she yeah. should treat you to this. Yeah, this would be a great movie for yeah. my mom to take me to. It's kind of so. like when I went to, with my friends to see In the Name of the King, A Dungeon Siege Tale, and one of them paid for me to see it. I mean, I, they <laughs> still should have been paying me to see it. That movie was so awful. That actually gives Bangkok Dangerous a run for its money. But... This is the kind, yeah, this is the kind of movie just to see a whim, just a fun little piece of fluff. At least that's what it sounds like. Yeah. But thank you so much, Christy, for the review. And I guess that is all the time we have today. Thank Once you, again, Samantha. Yes. Thank you so much, thank to Samantha. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I hope I can come back. Oh, we'd certainly oh, sure. love to have you participate in more of our debates and metaphor tossing. <laughs> but for now, I am Matt Carter. And I'm Christy Butiam. And we hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.